you? How are you? <laughs> okay. Someone re I've just started vlogging, literally one second, somebody recognised me. Uh, I'm in Kathmandu, Nepal, first time ever. Kathmandu, Nepal. Uh, I decided not to go with the... Hey brother, hey, hello. Oh, people are friendly here. I decided not to go with the prepaid taxis. As usual, they're asking for like 2,000 around that level. Uh, if my research is correct, I can get to where I want to go for about 500. So we'll see. I'm just getting away from all the chaos right now. And we'll see if we can find a fair, fair price taxi, maybe out on the streets. However I get there, should surely an exit around here somewhere. How are you, brother? Your name? Your good name? Yeah. Vinod. Vinod? Yeah. Ah, okay, from Kathmandu. Kathmandu, yeah. Ah, okay. Taxi driver. Your taxi, how much yeah. your taxi? Uh, to Tamil area? Tamil area, yeah. 700. 700, oh, I want to pay 500. Okay? Oh, we fuel expensive. Ah, uh, no. I will, I will walk through the street and get for 500. <laughs> thank you, Vinod, thank you. Uh, thank uh, you much, mate. Okay. Hi, nice brother. to meet you. Nice I, to meet you too, I, brother. I, I saw you in the past movie and you, you are very good. Really? Oh, right? thank you. Give me thumbs up, okay? Yeah, in Bangla, about yeah. the Bangladesh and the India, street food. Yeah, yeah, street, street food. food. Hopefully I will eat a lot of momos here yeah, in, yeah. Uh, <laughs> in Kathmandu. Are you for the vlog? I mean for the documentary of Nepal this time? Yeah, I will travel around and eat. Okay. Eat everything. Yeah, nice to meet you. You too. Uh, what is the famous food apart from momos here? All I know about is momos. You should go to the, uh, the Kirtipur for the Nawari food. Nawari food? Yeah, oh, that's the indigenous people of the Kathmandu Valley, right? Yeah, that's, that's the, that's the unique uh, cuisine from the Nepal, so you should go there to uh, Okay, to have that food. I will try that type of food, brother. Okay, yeah, nice okay, to nice meet you, to meet you too, brother. You, you. Okay. Here, so. okay, see you, see you guys. Okay. Let's have a walk on the main street. Okay, the main road. Maybe I should just walk to the edge of the road and flag down something that looks like a taxi. I think these white cars are taxis, like that one right ahead of me with the speed sign. I think they're all taxis. Surely if I just stand around here, one will stop. Hello, brother. I'm going to a Tamil area. You can do 500. Okay, thank you. Brilliant. That was easy. Hi, brother. Hello. My hotel is Babar Mahel Villas. Do you know? Oh, what happened to your windscreen? Accident? Yeah, crash, huh? Brother, you know my hotel, <laughs> Babar Mahel Villas? Babar Mahel Villas? You know? Uh, yes or no, you know? Yes or no? No, no. No, you don't know? Okay, I will help you with the Google Maps. Street name is Tanka Prasad Sadak. You know? Yes or no? Tanka Prasad Sadak. Oh, okay, some air in here. Oh. So, he knows where I'm going now. It's next to some hospital, so I found out on the map. So, that's where we're going. You know? Okay, I think the place on Google Maps must be wrong because that right there is an army base and that's where it says it is on Google Maps. Oh, by the way, I got a SIM card uh, from the airport. 1,200 rupees, about 10 US dollars for 28 days with like 28 gigabytes. So that's gonna be enough. I'm happy with that. Already connected, no SIM card hunt this trip like I had in Pakistan. It was a nightmare. So yeah, like right there is where it says on Google Maps, but I don't know, I just phoned up the, the number of the hotel and gave it to the driver. So hopefully we're, uh, we're on our way there now. Ah, here we go, Babar Mahel. Ah, so on Google Maps it's there, <laughs> but it's actually here. Okay. Hello, brother. Okay, thanks this is us. Uh, namaste, how are you? Very good, welcome to Bobur Mall Villas. Thank you so much. Okay, that's for you brother, thank you. Welcome. Thanks. Okay. Oh. Oh. Is that only two pieces you have? Yeah, only two pieces, travelling light. Very good. 
Okay, this one. Big dog's loaded. Okay, that's two. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. So this is a heritage property, right? Right. Robert, Classic. Yes, Robert Mohan Villa is the boutique hotel. Boutique? Yes. And heritage? And here it is. How and many years old? Well, this the complex. Is, the complex is uh, done in 1997. That uh -huh. was restored. The hotel came into place 2015 only. Uh, so it's only been a hotel for well, seven years? Yes. But before that it was private residence? Yes. Ah, okay. Good. Huge, a huge complex. Yeah. Namaste, how are you? Good, I'm checking you? in. Thank you, I'm good. Uh, how are you? Very good, thank good. you. I'm checking in. Thank you. How was the travel from the airport? Was the process smooth there? Yeah, I decided to make it difficult though. I went to the street to get a taxi rather than the prepaid ones. Oh, great. Because they're much cheaper, right? So. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. How much did he charge? 500? Yeah, I asked him 500 and he just said, okay. But at the airport, they're asking 2,000. Oh, yeah. So. That's the nice place to live. Yeah. <laughs> so I just, I told everyone I already have pickup. Okay. So That's otherwise great. they keep hassling you. If you say you're looking for a taxi, they keep oh, yeah, hassling yeah, yeah, yeah. But I say someone is picking me up from the street. So I walk out like that, you know? <laughs> That's a great yeah. So well, they have to be stationed there for a long time. Uh, yeah, so they need to make up for it. Breeze, yeah. Like, wait for the room. Yeah. It really is hard to do the business there. Just yeah. They could be expensive. But you did the right job. How many guests are staying here now? Right now about 15 to 18. How many guests do we have? Oh, watermelon. Uh, yes. Oh, thank you so much. Fresh watermelon. Oh, okay. I, I don't need the towel. It's okay. I'll take a shower when I get checked in. Lovely. Nice and cold. Well, what is this? What are you going to do to me with this? <laughs> what, it's what? a traditional way to welcome our guests. Is it? Ah, okay. First time in Nepal? Yeah, my very first time in Nepal. Oh, ever. Okay. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. Okay, what's happening? <laughs> so, something's happening. Okay, I got a scarf. And this. This is tikka. You're going to tikka? Yeah, on the forehead. Shall I put okay, it on Okay, yes. Welcome again. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Your breakfast will be served here from morning 7 hours till 10.30 or 11. Oh, is it included? Yes. Oh, fantastic. Inside the house, we really feel comfortable. Uh-huh. Okay. That's good. Most, uh, you know, when I stay in chain hotels like Marriott and such, they never include the breakfast. Oh, yeah? But when you stay in the boutique hotels, usually mm -hmm. they include it. So that's the, a good thing. The bigger hotels, they don't include the breakfast online so that they can make, make it a little uh, extra yeah. yeah but an extra like $30 or something <laughs> as well yeah uh, but some of them when you get the status you stay there like in one year like 30 nights then you get the free breakfast you know <laughs> you have like tiers like a loyalty system yes. you know The lunch and dinner is also available here. There's a small pastry shop there. Yeah. Uh, the signature dish here is Royal Rana Thali. You get the Nepali food. Everywhere. Oh, it's a thali. It's so it's like a mix. Yes. It's yes. similar to an Indian thali or is it Nepali? It's different? Nepali. It's Feast of Maharajas. Like ah, okay. Royal Rana Thali. Yeah. Okay. That's the theme of this place. So, okay. So it's for a king. Maharaja, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to eat like a king. Come on, this hotel. Okay. Give me passport. My passport. Shall I leave my bag? Yes, yes. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, let's get the tour of this place. The beautiful art from the very popular artist around the world. Okay, some art on the walls. Okay, this is Siddharth Art Gallery, the most popular exhibition gallery in town. Any important exhibition that happens, happens here. Oh, so it's right within your complex? Yes, there's a lot of things to do here. Ah, okay, what else do you have? You have... That painting speaks about us. The bottom one is the actual palace. Those are the holiest beads you find in Nepal. Any priest or in the temple, you find them wearing yeah. that beads. So it grows here in our compound. So this compound, it used to be a palace. This was literally cow shed and horse stable of the palace. That's the palace, which is on the other street. Ah, uh, okay, where the army is. Is that where the army base is on the street? The government office took it over. Oh, so, so it's owned, that was owned by the government? Ah, okay. That was owned by our owners of ancestors. Uh, Later on, the government took uh, it over. Ah, okay, so the government the have this main area and you've turned the cow sheds and everything, you've turned this into, into this, this complex. Yes. Ah, okay. This was done in 1997. Ah, right. 
And then 2015, you said the, the uh, hotel, the hotel right. appeared. Ah, okay. Then so before the hotel, this was just like the art gallery, the shops, everything. Yeah, there was no hotel. Ah, was just all right. this. There was residence of the yeah. owners. To say the guard squalors. Right. 1931. They are the history behind of this list. Yeah. This is Chez Caroline, one of the most popular French cuisine restaurant in town. Ah. There are four restaurants here and about 30 stores like that. So there's 30 shops and four restaurants. Right. Okay. Like in continuation of the art gallery. Uh -huh. and the another art gallery. <laughs> Is it the same one or it's the another one? Uh, yeah, the continuation. Actually. Oh, it's a continuation. Extension, ah, okay, yeah. okay. This is the courtyard, uh, Mulchuk, the continental restaurant. Uh -huh. That's the Nepali restaurant for the outsiders. But you get that food here in, with us in the hotel also. Okay. This is for the outsiders. Though you can join anytime. This faces Hidden Beauty Salon. And the shops up and down, you can explore anything. Oh, this is nice. All small bits here. Yeah, it's like a small village, <laughs> right. right? It's like I'm living in a village. Yeah, they compare yeah. to different cities and different places. Some people say in France, the alleys you have is similar like that. Ah, yeah. oh, right, yeah. Different examples. So this is how it was until 1996. Ah, okay, so this was just for farm, farming, cow yeah. sheds and... Yeah, horse stable, yeah. Grass, water, you know. Ah. And in a year's time... Wow, so it went from 1996, this? March, and to this, 1997. Wow. Amazing. Thank you. This was different the earthquake. 2015 was bad for Nepal. Yeah. A lot of places in the heritage sites got fallen and reconstruction process. Most of the things are completed. This is a little old picture. So when was the earthquake? 2015. Disaster. So you had already started building we the were, Yes, we ah. were in reconstruction. The swimming pool was done. And then the earthquake happened? Yeah, and but nothing happened wrong. Ah, okay, good. There are some antique shops here, singing balls and any kind of antiques you can find in Nepal. So all together this place can have all the souvenirs you want to carry. Yeah. And that you find around Nepal. Okay, you can get them all here. Everything here. Oh, okay, the Pashmina, the fancy stores. Only the trekkers item you need to go to Tamil area. Yeah. When you come here, this is our monkey king. Monkey king. This is Nepali Cosmetics, Kashmiri shops, Hankas. They are usually open from 11 to 5 or 6. Yeah. Uh, they should open in there. So, yeah, I've yeah. arrived early. <laughs> yeah. This is the Indian restaurant. Okay, good. This is stone carving, wooden carving, whole Indian galleries. So you can this is wood? This is stone carving. A stone, oh wow. You can find amazing work when they open. You can never ask them to courier this, send it to your home. They're actually making it there or only selling? They're making and selling. Oh. Oh. Very nice. And this place back takes, back, takes us back to the taxi park. Oh, that's where I came in. There's local caps here. Yeah. Or there's an application uh, put out. The local application. Yeah, what is the local app here for the right hailing? In, in drive. In drive? Uh, yes, uh, ah. it's called in driver actually. In driver? Yeah, ah. and Patau. The two in driver. Yeah. And then Patau. Okay, so I, must I must install those because it will be so much easier. It's easier, but yeah. you need to probably have a Nepali SIM card. I have it already, I'm prepared. Okay. Yeah, it's the first thing I got at the airport. <laughs> yeah. Opposite to our. Uh, entrance is the ex chief of army's resident and his brother to Aruna. There are about 14 16 army guards guarding this area. Yeah. Okay, so he's the ex chief, he's retired. Yes, okay, but they still uh, provide him security and everything. Yes. It's okay, important. yeah, he probably he was the senior most. Yeah, the ah, okay, so it's like in America after someone is the president for the rest of their life, you they have a uh, they have security for you know until the, the end of their life, they, they will be looked, at, looked after. Yeah, oh, that's great. You have it there. Oh, there's koi. Koi fish. Yeah. Oh, they're scared of me. <laughs> wow. So some construction is happening. You're adding more. Where did he go? Okay, there you are. <laughs> You're adding more to the hotel, yeah? We're adding 15 more rooms. We 15 more rooms. Ah, okay. In the pandemic, we had to start. But the you decided to do it this time because there's less, less tourists coming. Actually, there was nobody at all. We, oh, we, yeah. we added this koi fish pond. Yeah. We added a small aquarium there. 
And finally, we added this, but it was a little late, maybe. Uh, then suddenly everything started opening yeah, up. Yeah, good. That's why I'm here. Everything is opening up. <laughs> Thank you. It's good. There's a beautiful painting here. It starts from morning and goes to the evening, east to west. Ah, morning to evening. So this is morning, the yes. sunrise. Yes. And goes to the sunset there. And goes to the sunset. All, all the way down here. Right. Very nice. Because that's really sad to hear. Uh, it should be on the first day when we come, right. but it was raining. So oh god! <laughs> and we, we hope the last day it will be good, but also that. <laughs> I'm really, really sad for you, and maybe this is the reason that brings you back to Nepal next year. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. I'll see you around. Thank you. So they were going to do the helicopter to Everest. Yes. But the weather. Yes. Oh, yeah. so now it's rainy season, right? The, the bar there down has a lot of good, interesting historical pictures, like uh, when the slavery was abolished, when the fur, first car came into Nepal, ah. when the palace was, uh, you know, the palace was finally done, yeah. and uh, when uh, King Edward had come for the hunting expedition. All right, I didn't That's know about that. that. King Edward came to do hunting here in Nepal. Yes. Oh, wow. So there so are a lot of pictures in the uh, bar. You can there are there them. paintings or there are photographs or what? Fewer paintings. Yeah. I think most of them are paintings because you can. Yeah, so two, two, yeah, it's older. <laughs> yeah, before the days of cameras. Right. Yeah. That's Maharaja Chandra Samsha Jango Bahadur, one of the longest ruling Prime Minister during Rana Zira. He did a lot of good influence in Nepal, like abolish slavery, abolish sati from Nepal. Have you uh -huh. heard about sati? Uh -huh. When the uh, husband died, the women used to get burnt along. Really? Wow. He stopped all that crazy. Good. Yeah. <laughs> That's his uniform. He started school for the women. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is the first ever degree. Guy. Right. Yeah. This is the first ever degree in Nepali received again by him in 1909, honorary degree of doctor in civil law from Oxford University. Oh. And this is the highest level of award given by French government for abolishing slavery. Good. If you have time, that's the Ranas of Nepal to know a little bit about Ranas and this interesting collection of the then and now, so there's some oh. book centuries over it. <laughs> that's good. These books can be taken to the room or only for the yeah, library? You can. You ah, can okay. take and bring it back. <laughs> okay, great. Fantastic. There's a small pool and a gym here. Oh, you have a gym? Oh, sorry, that's outside here, gym and spa. Can I have a look at the gym? Yeah, sure. Okay. Basics, but usable. Okay, good. Yeah, it's very small, but definitely better than nothing. So an elliptical machine, cross trainer thing and a multi-gym right there okay i'll try and make use of that for massage you have one oh there's a spa here yes okay so there's a massage room in here smells nice smells very horrible oh yeah it's for washing your feet before the massage so two massage rooms yes okay very nice actually three like the one is under repair ah okay how much does a massage normally cost? Uh, about $40 to $60, depending on the time. 30 minutes, 45, okay. an hour, and 90 minutes. So uh, 30 to $45, actually 40 to $60 plus taxes. Okay. Taxes are 24.3%. Oh, that's a lot of tax. Yes. 24. <laughs> 24%. <laughs> okay, oh wow. A nice little swimming pool on the roof. This is a small pool. Yeah, it's nice. This is the steam and sauna area. Oh, it's a sauna. Small, but again, yeah, it's good. It's visible. This is on Tarai architecture. There are four different architectures used to build this place. Yeah. This is a small sauna room. Yeah. And this is a small steam room. Okay, nice. This is the changing room, open shower, built on Tarai style, the plain region of Nepal. Oh, wow, bamboo. Right. Nice. Very nice. I will definitely make use of the swimming pool, that's for sure. <laughs> that's good, not be using it as well, that's what I like. That one private swimming pool on the roof. Right there. There's a wee bridge as well. Now, the person down, I showed you the picture, he first built his, himself the palace there. That's the Prime Minister's office. It was built for him. It had 1,000 rooms when it was built. Massive in Southeast wow. Asia. 
Later on the fire broke and our current owner's grandfather was the one to use the artillery to break the fire and save the remaining block. Uh -huh. Okay, and then he started building different palaces for his sons. This yeah. is one of them for his second son, Babar Shamshir Rana. That's how this place is called Babar Mahal. Okay. The yeah. palace was on the other end. Yeah. This was Kaushana Hostel. This is uh, Mustang style, far western Nepal, closer to Tibet. This is Victorian style or Rana's style, which Rana's influenced by the English. And that's typical traditional Nepali architecture. Nevada architecture. Very nice. Beautiful. Rani, can you stop them for a while? Ten minutes, please. So you are booked for a heritage suite. Yeah. Uh, I see, that's I actually, your, your second highest tier of room, right? Yeah, but I want to upgrade you to the highest because the heritage is right next to the construction. I thought ah, the other one okay. would be most uh, The reason I booked the heritage rather than the royal suite was the royal suite doesn't have any balcony or terrace, right? Uh, there are small terraces I can show you. Ah, that. okay, because uh, on your website and on the booking sites, it looked like there was no terrace or balcony. That's why I chose the room below it, the Heritage yeah. Suite, because okay. they all have uh, terrace, yeah, right? These are the two. Oh, these are here. So this is what I, I booked, basically yeah. this, with the yeah. terrace. The one but down, it's right next to the construction. Yes. Yeah, okay. And actually, that's the only left right now. So I thought if you like the room, we can upgrade. If ah, you okay. use that also, it's fine. Uh, okay. We can have the listen, but it's really not so nice than... Yeah, okay, yeah, I, I will take the upgrade. I will <laughs> take the upgrade, it's all good. I'm it's never going to refuse an upgrade. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And I'm uh, sure you'd love the room. And uh, do you have a, an ETA for, for when the construction will be finished? Which month, year? By October, we should be ready. October 2022? Yes. Okay, good. The actual room again i wanted to give you was this side this side right uh, but the guest is not departed yet he's leaving uh ah. after, uh, midday he's leaving after midday? midday ah okay so but i have again similar category on the other side for a while to relax and then with that get that gets ready you ah. can again choose okay so after but now this is after you've relax. cleaned the room and everything yeah. then yeah. i will swap yes okay that's that's really good okay. but now you can take this room uh, as a refresh change and later if you feel like continuing here that's also not a problem ah, okay good this side you have the elevator but i'm not using this block as much as possible because of this construction area so this is a heritage suite this is also a royal suite actually oh, this is also a royal suite rooms, yes ah okay we but... have three royal suites yeah and two heritage suites okay okay so this is, you said this is your favorite room? Yes. Okay. The bathroom especially. And wow. this is Newari Royal. Uh, Style. Yes. Okay. So Newari is the indigenous people from the Kathmandu Valley, right? Yes. Okay. So they have their own style for things like, yes. things like this. Let's have a look in the bathroom. Look at this, nice sink. Very nice. Oh, a nice big bath as well. And separate shower, look at that. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, the bathroom's lovely. So is the bed. Thank you. Look at that. <laughs> Solid wood. Good, turn on the AC. Yeah. From the bathroom, you have a, a beautiful view of the pond there, the army chief's pond. Oh, from the bathroom? Right. Thank you so much. What is your name, sir? My name is Praveen. Praveen, thank you so much, Praveen. Pleasure. Thank you, thank Pleasure. you. Okay. Check this gaff out then. Awesome. That looks comfy ass. Gonna have a wee lie down. In fact, no. Your man's sweaty. Can't, can't lie down all sweaty on a nice clean bed like that, can I? I'm gonna, gonna get changed and I'm gonna have a swim in that swimming pool. It looks awesome. Let's have a quick wee look around first. Got that working desk there. It is a wee bit noisy with that construction, isn't it? Mm. We'll see how it goes. I've got the sofa here, a little mini fridge that's gonna get stocked mm. up. Not with their Carlsberg and tiny wee bottles of Coca-Cola. That's gonna get stocked up from my own trip to the grocery store, I reckon. Definitely not gonna be paying how much is that? Mini Coke 85. That's not too bad actually, but still gonna get a better deal from, I don't know. I don't know what the supermarkets are here. We'll find out and we'll go for a wee trip. 
after a trip to the swimming pool. My luggage has been brought to my room, so now I'm ready for a wee swim. I don't know if I should take the towel with me or not from the bathroom. I don't remember at the swimming pool if they had towels there or not. I don't remember seeing anything there, but most hotels, they don't like it when you bring the towel from your room to the swimming pool. So I don't know, I'm stuck. I don't know if I should take it or not. I'll probably go without it. I can come back dripping wet if I need to. And oh, talking about dripping wet. Mm. Fortunately, I packed two cans of juice to take with me to Nepal because it takes time before you do your mini bar hand, don't you? You want a wee, a wee refreshment before uh, you do your mini bar hand, and that's how they get you with the mini bar right there with their own mini bar with the high prices. You come, you, you're not you're not prepared, you've not brought anything with you, and then you fancy a drink, so you, you're just like ah whatever. I mean, it's only four or five times the price. I'll just I'll just pay for it. Uh, because I'm rich, because I'm staying in an expensive place, which this is, it's an expensive place. Try and guess how much it is. I've probably put it in the title of the video. It's $250 a night, so this is what you get for $250 a night in Kathmandu, Nepal. Very fancy, isn't it? Very fancy. You can get rooms a tenth of the price that are quite decent here. So I've seen on a Agoda and stuff. But uh, yeah, my first, my first ever night in Nepal. I got a, I got to do it fancy, don't I? I got to do it fancy, right? This door locks with a padlock, so that's what I need to do here. I need to do all this to get in and out of my room to keep it secure. There we go. Locked and secured. Right, sneak our way to the pool. Hi, right, brother. I'll go to the pool now. Sure. Is it this way, is it? Yes. Okay, I can't remember if there was towels there or I should bring one. Towel would be there. It's there, oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know. Most hotels, they don't like it when you take the towel from the room to the to the pool, but, but, I did, but I didn't remember seeing any there. So, up these stairs? Yes. Okay. okay. And uh, there's no dressing gowns in the rooms either. That's something I usually expect from a fancy hotel. Oh, I've lost a, I've lost a slipper. I think he's telling the housekeeper to make sure there's towels there. Hi, how are you? Namaste. Yeah, there's there's no um, no dressing gowns in the rooms. So, like I said, that's usually something I expect. I would normally come to the pool in my dressing gown. Do I still have it to myself? Yes, I do. That's what your man likes. His own private swimming pool. Right there. Oh. I like the vibe of this place, I like the vibe. It's just a pity about the construction. I wish I came here when this is all finished. The guy says October 2022. You can imagine how nice it would be, how serene, how quiet. We're kind of, it's kind of a busy road that we came down, but then it was a wee alleyway that's quiet, isn't it? So yeah, without the construction, it would be nice. Uh, looks like somebody's been in the pool before me. I'll take a shower at that traditional shower thing that they had. I think it was in here. Oh, it's my towel, yeah? Is this a shower here? Uh, shower? Yeah, sure. Oh, it's outside shower, right? Shower, steam and sauna. Ah, uh, okay. Shower. Oh, this is a shower here? Ah, oh, okay, very nice. Ah, okay. Okay. Shower. Oh, this is a shower as well, indoor shower. Okay, I'll take an outdoor shower. I'll take an outdoor one. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Yeah, it's fine. I'll take the outdoor shower. I wanted to... There was something in here. I think he said this was a traditional shower. I didn't have a good look before. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Well, I mean, like, there's no water connection. Is it one of these where you pour the bucket over yourself? Is that what it's for? Hmm. I wanted to do the traditional one. No worries. Let me shower here. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's what you want. 
after a red eye flight, I boarded that flight. I boarded that flight from Sharjah Airport at what time was it? 3 30 a.m. So it's midday now. Oh, body clock is at night time. It's like 10 p.m. for your man's body clock. Oh, a nice swim will freshen them up though. cold <laughs> the water ain't heated but it's nice nice and refreshing for your man after his overnight flight oh. I don't know what happened to the towel I thought I was getting though the lady uh, she had a towel in her hand and I don't know where it ended up going maybe it was uh, beside where I picked up that bottle of water Never mind. Oh, this is good. A wee bridge. So if uh, it's cloudy right now, but if it was too sunny, and you wanted to escape, like a white boy from Scotland needs to escape from the sun sometimes. You can just hide here. Very nice. Yeah, guys. I reckon I'm gonna do 50 lengths in this pool. Make sure I build up a good appetite so I can eat some good Nepalese food for lunchtime. Even though my body clock is still nighttime, I'm kind of getting refreshed and woken up again. So, yeah, after I do some lens in this pool, I will be in the mood for some lunch, some Nepalese lunch. All right, guys, let's do it. Oh. 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 Oh, good. I can finally test this bed out now that I'm all nice and clean and it's very firm, it's a very firm mattress that's on this bed. Oh, oh, that feels good. Hopefully I don't fall asleep. I've got a wee bit of exploring to do before I finish this vlog guys. It's only like, I don't know, half past one or something in the afternoon, right? Get rid of these, test the pillows out. Oh, I... Oh I it's nice. Like I say, it's very firm, it's a very firm mattress, but there's some kind of foam topper. That's what it feels like. Anyway, I feel a wee bit bad about messing the bed up, considering that I'm probably gonna be changing rooms. I'm gonna be changing rooms because of this racket outside. Chisel, chisel, chisel. So I'll be making myself comfortable. Well, as comfortable as you can make yourself sitting at a wooden chair. But it's actually not too bad. It's just a wee bit cramped, uh, the working space here. But look at this internet speed. It's very unusual, isn't it? It's very unusual to have a really good ping time and okay download speed. And look at that, the upload speed is amazing. I've never had that in a hotel before where the upload speed completely trumps the download speed. It's like a vlogger's wet dream, so it is. If you've got big files to upload, that is exactly what you want. 50 megabits upload, oh yes. We'll be making good use of that. Right guys, I reckon I will before. I'm tempted, I'm tempted to just have a good lie down, but I'll fall asleep, so we'll get out. We'll have a wee explore. Maybe stock up the mini bar, try and find a supermarket and some, maybe some momos. Maybe some. That's, that's what's been on my mind since I've been thinking about coming to Nepal, the momos. So, yeah, I'll grab my stuff, we'll go out, we'll get our momos and our Coke Zero and bars of chocolate and stuff. So, apparently, oh. Doesn't look like I can go that way. That's closed off. I think that's what the guy said that was the home of the ex army chief or whatever. Uh, I think if I go that way and or down that way, there's a big supermarket according to Google Maps. But also, Google Maps, this place is over there on Google Maps. So who knows? We'll just go for a wee wander and see what we find. I have a tight squeeze here. Okay. 
Here we are. Well, it looks like this is traffic lights. There's like, I don't know if it's working, there's half a red man there, but the locals just seem to be walking out into the traffic. So, you do as the locals, don't you? You do what the locals are doing. And everyone just seems to be crossing this. Do we step out? Oh, even the local didn't step out for that one. <laughs> okay, a bit more adventurous than the locals, but it's all good. Okay, your man following Google Maps to the supermarket. Oops. There doesn't seem to be too much going on in this area where I'm staying. Not much action, just busy roads, construction sites. Nothing that interesting. Okay, another busy road to cross. This guy's stopping the traffic though, which is good. It seems the traffic lights don't really work here. Either you've got these guys who manage the traffic or you've got nothing. You just have to be adventurous. Right, the place where the supermarket is on Google Maps, it's next to a green area. It looks like a park. I could do with some greenery, but for an urban jungle where I'm staying. <laughs> ah, this is what the big green area I saw on Google Maps is. It's a big stadium. It's not a park at all. It's a big, huge sports stadium. Right there. Oh well, never mind. So I was coming from here and I literally recognize your face. Oh, you see me? Yeah, ah, okay. I follow you, yeah. Okay, because I'm not wearing a mask, that's why you recognize me. <laughs> yeah, I, I see you always in my Facebook. Yeah, and what about the mask? Is it uh, law or no? Oh, what? by choice, by choice, the mask. Uh, Covid mask. Covid mask, you should wear. You should for, wear, huh? For your protection. But, yeah, but for law, for law, for legal. legal police, problem yeah. police or no? Yeah. Problem, yeah? Yeah. Well, how, how much you have to pay? Do not pay, but they will ask you to... Oh, they'll tell you to put it on? Yeah. Ah, okay. No worries. Okay, okay see brother. you, brother. Okay, see you. Okay, <laughs> okay good. Okay, well, I wasn't too sure about the whole mask situation. I see a bunch of people wearing masks, way more than in Pakistan, Turkey, Egypt, but almost nobody wears it. Here, I would say, I don't know, look, your, your man there's wearing it, the ladies, pretty much everyone, you know? Uh, I would say like 80%, 80% of people are wearing it, but, but I'm not, no chance. This one actually has the working red man right there. But looks like everyone is still just crossing. I follow this guy. I don't think I don't think anybody's going to run him over. There we go. Protection. <laughs> Protection from the police. Right here. Nice, nice. Come on, do. Okay, so there should be. This is like a mall or something. There should be a supermarket here, a big one, a proper one. It's maybe inside. This is it here, Bat Bateni Superstore. It's a proper market. I think they're not gonna let me take the camera in. Usually they don't. We'll see, I'll walk through. Hi, brother. Okay, good. Usually security in supermarkets never let me uh, away with taking the camera in. Okay, time to fill this up. What is this? Icy Cola Zero. This looks like a fake Coke Zero. Icy Cola. I'll take one just to try it. There's no prices. Uh, <laughs> Icy Cola Zero. Okay, I'll take one just to try it, but I think they do actually have the real, the real deal somewhere. Oh, there we go. Right there. But only the plastic bottles, not the cans. Oh, I don't know. I hate plastic bottles. I hate them more than Greta Thunberg. That's how much I hate plastic on my drinks. Okay, I'm just actually going to fill up, fill up a 
these icy zeros. Okay, that should be good for a couple of days. So this is all the same sort of stuff I was seeing when I was in India. The Haldirans and all that. I think most of the products in Nepal must be imported from India. This looks decent. Galbiji. Okay. These look interesting. Look like little sugary pretzels. Lakamari. Oh, chalkies. That should do me for a couple of days. Oh, nice name, I like it. It's Dale Ishus, they're saying. Fantastic, okay. I'm looking for something delicious to eat, but I reckon I'll, uh, I'll get this massive bag of goodies back to my hotel room first and have a wee explore. There's lots going on, look, food everywhere. Hello. So this is my new room, possibly, if yes, I like it. If you like it. If I like it. Let's see. Oh, so it's yeah. different. Completely different layout from the like last one. Yes. Yeah. Is this for a king? For Maharaja? Yes. So it looks like, looks like a little throne. Oh, nice. I've never stayed in a hotel room where I get my own throne before. Yes. Is this the palace across the street? Yes. Ah, okay, yeah. Okay. Okay, good. So this... The living room area. Oh wow. Another big nice four poster bed. Good. It's nice. And it's quieter. Ah, oh, this might be a problem though. Oh, how am I gonna put my laptop there? Yeah. Is there another desk? Ah. Oh. I'm thinking about where to put my laptop because it's only a writing desk, right? It's not for, uh, it's not for like sitting at a laptop. Yeah, that's not sitting for a laptop. Oh, no. I mean, it's landed. I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? Hmm. Uh, maybe uh, we could shift this table to that one. Yeah, that will, be, that will be enough. Yeah, I think. I think that would be enough. Yeah, okay. Okay, I, I will change the rooms then. Okay, sure. Okay, so uh, do you want to give me these keys and I'll bring you the other keys back in like uh, 15 minutes? The keys over here. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, so just leave this in here. I will I will move everything around and then I will bring you the the keys from the other room. I'll bring them downstairs in like 15 minutes. Okay, sure. Okay, thank you, my brother. Sure. Thank you. Okay, so, uh, good. And in the meantime, then I'll move this table to over there. Okay, that'd be great. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay, so obviously not a great situation for anybody who wants to sit and do any work at their laptop in that room. Uh, I think even if he moves that table, it's not gonna be that comfortable, but the noise here is unbearable. So at least with that one there, you've got some separation, a few more walls and stuff away from this racket, whereas for me, I'm right beside it. All right, guys, that's me nice and settled in my new room. One shall take one's throne and sample some of these local delicacies and local fake Cog Zero. I think it's local anyway. Where is this made? It says it's an innovation, an innovation by Agro Thai Foods. So maybe in Thailand. Oh no, it says it's uh, some industrial estate in Laliti Poor, which is down the road from here. So it's a local fake Cog Zero. Let's give it a try before we sample the local. What are they called again? Lakamari. Okay, well, did just bring it all back from the supermarket on my back. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh my God, I bought eight cans of this. Oh, oh, that is, uh, maybe it's an acquired taste, second sip. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't describe it. It's just like a, a rubbishy taste in Coke. 
a rubbishy taste in cock, that's what it is. It reminds me of, uh, have you ever bought like the supermarket, like Tesco's own brand Coca-Cola or something like that? You try it once, you'll never try it again. It reminds me of that, that's absolute garbage. I've bought eight cans of that. I should have just got the, the Coca-Cola in the plastic bottles. Ah, <sighs> man. Okay, so this Lacamari, it's these little bread, fried breads made with lentil flour, rice flour, uh, and it's soaked in ghee, which is clarified butter, so the, the fat from butter, and it's just sugar and sesame seeds, so it's like a sugary fried bread, but not wheat bread, lentil and rice bread. Let's give it a go. They look, uh, they look solid, so... Oh, oh, they're very hard, they're very hard. Mmm. Very crunchy, very crunchy. It's like rock hard stale bread. Um, very oily and very sugary. Um, I don't know. Four out of ten. You can see how hard it is. Look at that. Oh, just just rock solid. I don't know. Maybe if I get this fresh off the street, you know, when they're just making it in the big pots, it'll be nicer. If it's got, a, I think this would be nice if it had a bit of a chewiness to it. You know, sometimes you get a cookie and it's all crumbly on the outside, but the inside's kind of like a, all soft and chewy like that. Then it would be nice. We'll see. We'll see if I find any when I'm roaming around. Get one straight out the the fryer would be nice. Oh. You could lose a tooth eating these, so you could. You gotta be careful. Anyway, I'm not gonna waste my appetite on four out of 10 flavored Lachmari and one out of 10 flavored fake Coke Zero. I'm gonna get back out onto the street and find some Momos, what I've been thinking about all day, what I've been craving ever since I came to Nepal. The Nepalese Momos, let's do it. But first, I will show you guys what's happening with the laptop situation. So this desk right here can't be moved into the bedroom. It's affixed to the wall. It's glued. So I've just had to make do with a laptop here. I did ask them if they could move the desk from the old room into this room. And they said, uh, we'll see about it. We'll see about that. So <laughs> I know I'm not expecting anything. Uh, this, I have a laptop on there, on this, is it 45, 40 degree angle or something? And it was sliding off, it kept sliding off, but I've managed to kind of push down on it a wee bit and the rubber feet of the laptop are kind of just catching on the wood and it's not falling and smashing off the ground. In fact, what I should do when I'm not actually at the laptop, when I'm not sitting at the desk, what I should do is uh, put the chair here because then if the laptop falls, it will fall into the cushion chair, which the last room didn't have. So yeah, something worse, a worse desk, but a better chair. <laughs> That's it. These rooms, they're all different. You know, most hotels, they will have every room the same, you know, and everything's kind of just generic. But here they've put a lot of thought in each individual room, you know, like the last room, it didn't have, for instance, these little, what do you call them? Little ornaments and all that. You know, everything didn't have the throne. Didn't have this for the teacups and Victorian teapots and stuff. We're talking about Victorian. We've got the bathroom and this one has robes. It has bathrobes, it has dressing gowns. The other one didn't have them. I searched everywhere. Uh, they must have forgot. They must have forgot. Uh, but this one, it has a Victorian bathtub. Doesn't it? Got the shape of that. Very nice, freestanding Victorian bathtub. Also a separate shower, and this one with two wee sinks instead of the big brass one. So that's what we've got here. A nice wee room. I like it. I like everything about it, other than the this desk right here. But like I said, I can make do. I can make do for two nights that I'm staying here. Anyway, guys, let's get out. I, yeah, I can hear the noise from out there, but it's very mild compared to, you know, where I was just staying in the other room. So I'm actually kind of happy overall, apart from the, uh, you know, apart from the, the desk situation. 
Right, we'll go out and get our momos. This looks like what I'm looking for right here. Durbar Momo. Two big massive pots outside the steaming trays. Let's see if I can find my way up there. Okay, there we go. Hello, you're selling momos? You have menu? Oh, this menu. Okay. Menu is here. What is the best one? This is the choices. Veg, banana. Banana ice cream. Oh, you don't have it? Uh, today. Uh, today you don't have it? No, today no, no banana ice cream. Uh, yes. buff, it's buffalo? Yes, it's buffalo. Buffalo momo, yeah, okay. chicken momo. Uh, chicken momo, paneer momo also. Ah, uh, okay, I will take paneer it. Paneer momo is not available. What is not chicken? Paneer momo is not available in the time. Paneer not yeah. available? Paneer momo, What is Durbar momo? Durbar momo. Special? Yes, yeah. What, sauce? Special sauce or? Uh, special sauce and uh, cheese, cheese also. And cheese? Extra ah, extra. Okay. Yeah. ah, okay. Yeah. I will take a uh, chicken momo, durbar momo, momo. Okay. and buffalo fried. What fried? Fried, yeah. yeah. One. One, yeah. One, one buffalo yeah, fried, fried. fried. And one chicken. Durbar. Darbar. Okay. okay. And I will take a cold drink, some seven up. And a glass bottle. Thank you. Ah, refreshing. This is the buffalo fried. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. We want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and some sauce. More momos coming. Thank you. Oh, I can hear my own voice. The staff, the staff are watching me on YouTube. I can hear my own voice looking for a cricket t-shirt in Pakistan. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try one of these. They're very crispy. Very crispy because they've been fried. Okay. Standard momos are steamed and kind of chewy. So this is a small fried buffalo momo. I'll try it first without the sauce. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's the minced buffalo and onions, onions through there as well, yeah. Very, uh, very well seasoned. Almost eating like, like eating a scotch pie back in Scotland. That's kind of the texture and the taste. It's kind of like that, but more flavorful. It's nice. I'll give the sauce a try. The sauce, I'm expecting it to be spicy. It's my expectations, let's see. Oh. <laughs> It's uh, it's uh, it's like a spicy chutney, a very spicy chutney, right? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. So the momos they're already very well seasoned. They're already full of flavour, but the sauce is just going to give it that spice kick, the spice kick as well. Okay. How do I do this? They're very they're very crispy and hard. So stab it with a fork. Dip in some of the sauce. Oh. Mm. They're extremely hot. They're straight out of the fryer, so I think I'm going to stab each one of them to get some air, to get some air into them. Like this. Just a wee stab on each one. And these are just about the right size. When I've eaten momos before, I've eaten them in India and they're about twice the size of this. So either you try to have one with one mouthful and then it's difficult to, to eat or you chew it in half like this and then the contents start spilling out. Well, that's landed on the table and the table's all sticky and everything so <laughs> that ain't going in my mouth. Okay, more of the sauce. 
spicy. I think I'm doing it the right way. I'm doing it correctly, right? Okay, I think I'm doing it the right way. Like this. And one plate is actually the perfect portion size because, I mean, they're stuffed full of meat. I mean, I'm starting to feel full already eating this. I've got another plate full on the way though, so. <laughs> Just as well I did those laps at the swimming pool earlier on and got all my appetite. Look at that, stuffed, stuffed with the mincemeat. Chicken one. Chicken one. Wow, it's covered in all sorts of stuff. Okay. I think it's covered in cheese. Oh, it's grated cheese. It's covered in grated cheese, onion, and a bunch of stuff. Okay, I'll finish these off and then I'll get onto this special chicken moment. This, I've made a wee face, a wee face in the sauce as well. Isn't that cute? Right, with this, I don't even know where to begin, guys. I don't even know where to begin. Do I start eating the toppings? Am I supposed to get, I think what I'm supposed to do is get each momo with a, it's like eating nachos, right? If you've got these loaded nachos covered in cheese and salsa and beans and everything, you want to get each, each nacho chip with a bunch of the, bunch of the loaded toppings on top of it. So I think that's what I'm gonna to have to try and do here with these loaded momos covered in cheese and onions and all sorts. A bit more than a mouthful but I'm gonna try. They're nice. They're bigger than the beef ones but they're actually are easier to eat because um, they're kind of melt in the mouth whereas the beef ones are all uh, crispy and crumbly and hard. Uh, these are very soft, so they're very easy to eat. And wow, again, absolutely stuffed. They're not stingy with the meat. It's actually, this one's split open so you can see. It's stuffed, absolutely stuffed with the mincemeat. And then all the cheese and stuff on top. It's spicy, I think there's some peppers there. Oh yeah, jalapenos. It is like, <laughs> it is like nachos. There's jalapenos and cheese. Uh, don't even need the spicy sauce. This is already very spicy. covered in some sort of sauce as well, it's drowned in this. It's like a salsa, I think a tomato based spicy sauce. So it really is, it really does taste like, minus the, minus the, the nachos, it's, it tastes like you're eating loaded nachos. But it's loaded momos, isn't it? Lovely jubbly. Get one more or seven up. Yeah, one more. Yeah, it's very spicy. <laughs> I need, I need more. They're so spicy, right? Spicy, very spicy. Thank yeah, you. It's nice, nice and spicy. Okay. How many have I got left? One, two, three, four, five. I think I got ten again. Yeah, portion size is ten. Ten momos. These would be good in the winter time to warm you up. Oh, I, just now though, the start of summer, it's about 34 degrees outside. I'm struggling a wee bit, but still enjoying, still enjoying these spicy, cheesy momos. That's one. It's good, I like these momos. They're very tasty. Yeah, very you. very spicy yeah. and very tasty. Thank you. No problem. Oh yeah, I remember yeah. this in India. What do I do again? Uh, you mix, right? Uh, I do like this. With the spoon? Okay. I don't know if everybody uses a spoon or what, so... Okay. Mm. Balances out some of the spice. Very nice. 
Okay. Okay. This one for me? Yeah. Okay. So total is $560, so less than $5. It's good, good value. Okay. Uh, keep the change tip for the stuff, for the stuff. Okay, thank you. See you. Bye bye. Okay. Very nice. I enjoyed that. My first momos in the pal. Special ones. Special spicy ones. Okay. I'm knackered, guys. I'm getting back to that hotel, that luxury room, for a bath and then a sleep.